Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Reverend Dream, we're coming for another daily devotional. And this is going to be from Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 3. His fruit was sweet to my taste. Faith in the scripture is spoken under the emblem of all senses. It is the sight. Look upon me and be ye saved. It is hearing. Hear and your soul shall live. Faith is smelling. All their garments smell of myrrh, aloes, and tithe. Thy name is as ointment poured forth. Faith is a spiritual touch. By this faith the woman came behind and touched the hem of Christ's garment. And by this we handle the things of the good word of life. Faith is equally the Spirit's taste. How sweet are thy words to thy taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my lips. Except a man eat my flesh, saith Christ, and drink my blood, there is no life in him. This taste is faith in one of the highest operations. One of the first performances of faith is hearing. We hear the voice of God, not with an outer ear alone, but with an inner ear. We hear it as God's word, and we believe it to be so, that it is the hearing of faith. Then our mind look upon the truth as it is presented to us, that it is to say we understand it, we perceive its meaning, that it is the seeing of faith. Next, we discover its preciousness. We begin to admire it and find how fragrant, fragrant, fragrant it is, that it is faith in its smell. Then we appropriate the mercies which are prepared for us in Christ, that is faith is its touch. Hence, follow the enjoyments, peace, delight, communi communication, which are faith in its taste. Any one of these acts of faith is saving. To hear Christ's voice as we sure voice of God in the souls will save us. But that which gives us true enjoyment is the aspects of faith or in Christ by holy taste is received unto us and made by inward and spiritual apprehensions of his sweetness and preciousness to the food of our souls. It is then we sit under his shadow with great delight and find his fruit sweet to our taste. When we place God first in our life, all things become apparent. If we place him second, then you will never achieve the, gro the growth and the attainability of all of his knowledge. If we look for ourselves, for our own thoughts and our own wisdom, we will never find wisdom within ourselves. It is only him and his knowledge that will gain true happiness and allow you to not struggle through life and life's ways. When we look and we try to achieve things that might not go our way on a daily basis, say for instance yesterday, I went in after our live and our nice visit, and my air conditioner had went out. I couldn't understand why, and I tried to fix it on my own, to no avail. And then I asked God, God, 
what's the problem? Why am I failing? And God just told me, you've got to figure out small. Start small. And when you seek me, you will find me. I looked, and the plug, I tripped the reset. I tried resetting it to no avail. The more I tried myself, the less it worked. So then I said, God, have your way to be. And then I decided that, or he decided for me, to go to town and get a new plug. I went and bought one and come back. And I still failed. The plug would not screw. The, the screws were stripped in it. So the devil really tested me to see how I would act. I stopped and I gave praise to God. And I thanked him for allowing me the strength to continue on his purpose. I got my car. I went back to town and I got another plug. This time I came back and it was effortlessly easy. All screws had worked. Everything was accomplishable. I got it done. I got air on and I wasn't sick because of the heat anymore. When we seek him and decide that his purpose should align with ours, then and only then will we truly know the blessings of our Father. I hope this helped someone today. And if not, then stay tuned because there's many more thoughts and lessons to come from him. I don't never know what he's going to have me say till I come out and say it. But it is a blessing to be here and do my father's bidding. This is Reverend Dream. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Hug somebody special or hug some stranger or a homeless man, a veteran that served or just a dad or a mom that you might not have tomorrow. God bless and remember, God loves you so much and Jesus loves you too.